to show you my tiramisu. Doesn't it look yummy? Oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna enjoy my tiramisu and my mask. And I'll go back and show you what it looks like after 20 minutes. Hi y'all, I'm Rachel Johnson and I am coming to you in my pajamas to share my PM routine for enlarged pores and hyperpigmentation for oily to combination skin. So stay tuned. So I'm a cosmetic chemist and I have been a cosmetic chemist now for a little over seven years. And most of my background um, is in research and development in the contract manufacturing setting. I have a bachelor's in science degree in chemistry. So I have applied my education to be a cosmetic chemist in the cosmetic industry. So I learned how to formulate high active skincare, color cosmetics, which includes makeups, foundations, mascaras, OTC products, which means over the counter. So that, that would be your sunscreens, SPF products, so like anti-acne products and things like that. So I research about raw materials and their intended uses as far as in a formulation and for skin benefits, topical benefits. I write a formula, so a recipe to make all of these products that you see on the shelves in Sephora and Ulta and all the retailers that, that you go to right Regularly. Most of my products are on those shelves. So yes, I'm super excited about that. Okay, so I'm super excited to get started because I have never done this before. I'm gonna start with double cleansing. Yes, so I'll be double cleansing using PCA's Daily Cleansing Oil. I really like this oil because of the way it smells. I love using it when I wear makeup because it really breaks it down super fast and efficiently. It's not very thick like old gels. The only makeup I'm wearing right now is mascara because I have little bit of eyelashes. So I literally wear mascara every day because I am obsessed with mascara. <laughs> I also have sunscreen on. If you do wear makeup, this, I feel like this is, it breaks down my makeup like amazingly. If you're wearing sunscreens, I definitely advise you to double cleanse, especially if you are wearing sunscreens that have water resistant claims on them. It means that they have waterproofing agents in there. So in order for you to get them truly off, you have to use something like this <laughs> to really um, break that water resistant film. So this is what it looks like. It's a very thin oil, very thin. It smells like cherries. So I like doing myself a massage. I'll go in here to break down my mascara. <laughs> Rip this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so just rinse off the water. I use PCA's Daily Exfoliant. Okay, so this video is not sponsored by PCA. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry that I have two PCA products into my routine, but it's really hard for me to replace my cleansers for <laughs> because I just really like the way my skin feels after I use both of these cleansers. I don't feel like my skin is stripped. I feel like my skin is very hydrated and supple, which is what I aim for is suppleness. So uh, I will be using PCA's Daily Exfoliant. So I'm gonna apply this while I talk, because you're supposed to apply it to what skin. I don't exfoliate a lot with this. It depends on my mood, like if I really want to buff away a lot or if I really feel like my pores are congested. But it's very gentle. I don't feel irritation at all. I don't use this every day. Like I interchange it with a different facial wash. I'm gonna wash this off and I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, so I washed my face and I'm ready to apply my mask. Um, the mask that I will be trying today is from Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. I'm a mom, so I'm always in there trying to get stuff for my son, like little arts and crafts and paints things, very cheap stuff. And if he breaks it, it's just a dollar. So anyway, I have this charcoal bubble face mask that's infused with collagen, hyaluronic acid, and retinol. I saw this in the store and I was like, it's 99 cents, why not try it? I looked at the ingredients, it doesn't look too bad, so why not? I picked this up because I am a chemist, so I'm intrigued as to how something like this could be sold in Dollar Tree. I wanna see if it's really gonna bubble, if it does bubble, how big the bubbles are gonna be. 
you know, let's just try it out. It's only nine nine cents. Hopefully my face isn't wrecked from this. But uh, depending on the ingredients, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm excited. It's already bubbling. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna see if I can try to unfold it. We're gonna see if it's a mess, if it's a fail. I don't know, if it's not gonna work. Oh, it's already bubbly. The foam is legit. Ooh, it smells nice. It smells really good, actually. So I'm gonna put it on my face. And while we wait 20 minutes, I'm gonna eat some tiramisu and maybe talk to you. <laughs> it's foaming a lot. Look at the hands. This makes me so excited. Yes, I didn't think it was gonna foam that much. And you're saying, why, Rachel? Uh, the most common ingredient for self foaming products like this is the methyl parafluorobutane ether and the methyl isobutane ether. Those ingredients tend to be a little bit more expensive and most people can afford it from a product development standpoint. So normally they, they reduce this ingredient in formulations. Each formula has its own um, price, you know, for, as far as formulation. And each raw material has its own price as well. So. These two raw materials in particular are expensive and in order to get like a high foam, <laughs> like like a super foamy experience, you need to have this ingredient in at an efficacious level and most people can't afford to have it in at an efficacious level. So that's why I was wondering if these two ingredients were in this formula <laughs> at an efficacious level or not. If I was going to get a lot of foam, a little foam, I was just curious. This. It seems like it's that those two are in at a reasonable amount, which I'm surprised because this is a Dollar Tree mask. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my tiramisu. Doesn't it look yummy? <laughs> I will. I'm gonna enjoy my tiramisu and my mask, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like after 20 minutes. So I'm gonna check this off. It has not been 20 minutes, but it's sliding down my face. And it's, and it's not very comfortable. <laughs> like in other masks, they, they don't really slide, but this one keeps sliding. And the foam isn't really staying on my face either. It keeps tripping really bad. But I'm, I'm super impressed with the foam. The directions say we're supposed to pat this in. It's very thick, dense foam. Good. It's very uncomfortable. Let's get my eyes and mouth and wash this off. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna use is my new team. Kind of pricey, but I definitely use this product because I love the way it feels on my skin. I love the texture. And I also see a difference in my skin after a couple of uses. And it's the SK2 Skin Balancing Essence. I really, really like this product. I love the use experience. Like the usage instructions, I love that they splash it on your hands, splash it on your face, and pat, 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 pat. Uh, it feels really nice when you apply it that way. And pat, 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 pat. I don't know why I say it when I do it. And I do put this on my neck. Oh, it just feels so refreshing. I love the way it feels. I love the way it smells. It's very neutral. Overall, great product. So the next product in my skincare routine is going to be Isla Storm Serum. So I really like this product because it has a lot of nice ingredients in there that I really like. That's for anti-pollution. Like I said, I need something to protect me. And I really like the ingredient story behind this particular product. So that's why I use it. And sometimes like when I'm into working different types of products into my skincare routine, I like to use products that have like um, anti-inflammatory ingredients in too. So this one has L twine in it. Yeah, so it's, it's a very, very, very nice on the skin. I like the texture, it's very light and it absorbs very fast. <laughs> it's not sticky or tacky, it just feels nice. So as far as eye cream, I'm gonna be using these eye patches tonight. 
Then I got Shishida, a wrinkle resist 24 pure retinol. I don't see how I really like retinol. I'm gonna pop this phase on in the pouch. It's two little hatches, so I'm gonna remove them. They're gonna serve as my eye cream. So you apply these and leave them on for 15 minutes, and after 15 minutes, you have to pack in what's left. This is my third time using these, so I really like them. I got them at TJ Maxx. <laughs> One of my other favorite places to go other than Dollar Tree for a good deal on skincare. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on for 15 minutes while I finish the rest of my routine. Next, I'm going to be putting on my face cream. So I'm using this one. I really don't know how to pronounce this. My country accent really butchers a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna say it's in the I don't know. Naturals, free stem cell science, super goji peptide perfecting cream. That's a mighty name. Yes, so I've used this a couple of times. Um, it's very rich and very good for a night cream. This is the texture. I think it's great for night cream. I'm not super obsessed with it, but I think it's, it's super beneficial in this climate. I used this in Georgia and I did not like it because it was very humid there and I felt like I was like sweating as soon as I put this on. But here, it's really, 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 really nice. Cause like I said here, um, combination had dry and patchy in certain areas and oily in others. So it's really, good with balancing out the two different type of skin types I have. But yeah, as you can see, I put little dots <laughs> and then I rub it in. I just take my time with each section of my face. Just be patient with yourself to show yourself a little more love. Like I really like putting creams on my face because it's just like a mini massage. <laughs> and I do, as you can see, I do go down my neck with my creams and serums. So that's my night cream, um, my moisturizer. Sometimes I use an oil afterwards, but tonight I will not because I feel super taken care of. My last step of the night will be my lip products. I'm gonna be using the Laneige. It's the Lip Gloopy Mask in Mint Choco. I really like all of the Laneige products. I've used this quite a bit. Someone accidentally threw away my scoop. So I'm stuck with this generic one, unfortunately. So I'm gonna scoop a little bit up and apply it to my lips. I really like this product. I 100% encourage everyone to use a tool when you have products in jars because it just um, cuts down on the, the number of times you are coming in contact with the product. We don't want any contamination or anything like that. And you know, using tools like this, clean spatulas or clean fingers <laughs> before you start digging into your products definitely will help with the shelf life of your product and make sure that you don't have any microbial growth over time. One step of my skincare routine that I did not share with you was that I definitely wash my hands before I do anything, you know, I'm touching my face, I'm touching my products, I wash my hands with antibacterial soap, okay? Emphasis on antibacterial, okay? We need to kill the germs. So I do wash my hands with antibacterial soap um, for 20 seconds with lukewarm water before I touch my face, before I touch anything, any products like this that have open face jars, like this one with the open face jars, but you saw me dip my finger in there. My hands are clean. Uh, we do have germ kill, okay? <laughs> All right, it's time to take my mask off. So I will be grooming these. Ooh, ooh, skin looking good, okay. I will be massaging this in. I will be going, I actually have to take a little bit of up and put it above my eyelids, they need love too. I'm very careful um, not to get it in my eyes, but that's just me. I just like how eye cream feels above my eyes. And you see I'm using my index fingers. 
so this is what I look like afterwards. Let's see if I get a little closer. I hope this was informative. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. If you have any questions, let me know. You can find me on Instagram at the charismatic chemist. You also can find me on this here YouTube at the charismatic chemist. You also can find me on Clubhouse. If you search my name, Rachel Johnson, I will pop up as charismatic C. So yeah, uh, I'm also on Twitter as CC Rachel Johnson. So those are all of my handles. I hope that I get to hear from all of you soon. I would love to hear your feedback. I'm very new to this platform, but I would love to share more of my experience in the cosmetic industry with you. So let me know what you think. I'm going to sleep, so I hope you enjoy this. Talk to you soon. Bye.